Long-awaited Cybertruck has still yet to be released. Why do we keep waiting for this steel box to arrive so eagerly? In this video, we will go through what we know so far, latest updates and speculations. This is your host Otis and you're watching Sustainable Truth. Let's get into it. Design features and materials. Tesla has stated in the past that Cybertruck will use 30 times cold rolled steel and then added that they would use something else if it was better. Well, recently Elon stated that they will now use 304L steel instead, stating easier manufacturing and better longevity of the frame. Another thing to add that stainless can be polished quite easily, so even if you get any scratches, you can easily buff it out, or you can even polish the whole thing to a mirror shine, or matte and brushed finish depending on your liking. You could even spray the whole thing with bed liner or wrap it if you wanted to. Shape of the truck Okay, so let's address the elephant in the room, the shape of Cybertruck. It kinda looks like a roof of a house. The designer must have been a house builder. Well, believe it or not, there are similarities. According to Connecting the Dots YouTube channel, the guy is an aerospace engineer by the way. He talks about how exoskeleton is different than other trucks on the road that uses unibody or body on frame designs and then goes to explain the actual triangular shape of Cybertruck and the reasons behind it. Apparently, it is built like a truss. Truss is a structure assembled by connecting beams at the ends to form a rigid structure, like a house roof or a bridge, etc. This allows Cybertruck to transfer forces throughout the whole body instead of using a body on frame and carrying the rest as dead weight. In turn, Cybertruck is more rigid but also lightweight compared to its strength, which is important for an EV. If you would like to learn more in depth about it, I added the link to the full video in the description. Manufacturing and Gigapress Part of Cybertruck's body will be built using a die-casting machine, and because of the size of the truck, it requires a die-casting machine that has a massive size and has never been used before on that scale. The technology is already proven to work, as die casting is incorporated in model wise as we speak. But Cybertruck requires this humongous machine. Either engineers had to come up with new ways of dealing with the increased size. The machine moves a huge amounts of hydraulic oil as well as molten metal to form the cast. This 9000 ton Giga Brass has already been dry tested in Italy and is already shipped and at least some of it's already arrived to the US and will be put together and testing will soon begin for Cybertruck. Elon came out of nowhere and announced that they were going to make Cybertruck waterproof so it could cross rivers and even see if it's not too choppy. He reasons that submarines use electric motors so Cybertruck will be no different. That is definitely a bold claim to make. Teslas are known to handle floods in water quite well, but given enough water, especially salt water, it tends to cause havoc even in waterproofed electrics in any vehicle. It will have to be very robust, as short circuit and loss of power in the middle of a channel or sea could spell disaster. It will be very interesting to see under body of the truck and see how they implement things from design point of view. Deliveries during the recent earnings call, Elon confirmed that Cybertruck progress is well underway. It's on track to 2023 mid-year deliveries. I assume we will start seeing progress and testing of the Gigapress and some factory-made Cybertrucks testing in the first few months of 2023. New technologies and possible features Cybertruck will reportedly have a crab walk feature, similar to Hammer EV. It is also rumored that it might have a new brake by wire system, allowing for better control and reduced size of braking system. Connecting the dots also mentions steer by wire, which would make yoke steering much easier with variable turning radius depending on speed. I'm not certain that these new technologies will be included in the truck, however, it would make sense from waterproofing standpoint, as there would not be steering linkage and moving parts running from inside to outside of the car, therefore minimizing the chance of water intrusion. By now you probably know that the Cybertruck's design will reduce the body shop size significantly, and there will be no need for a paint shop, so I'm not going to bore you with that. The last thing to touch on is that during the Q3 earnings call on 19th of October, Elon stated that Cybertruck will be a, quote, sick, next level, hall of famer, end quote. So take it what you will from that, it will be very interesting to see in a few months time what he means by it. Guys, thank you so much for watching until the end. If you enjoy, hit like and subscribe. It helps you to promote this content. I want to provide value 
to as many as I can, so this helps a lot. Any thoughts or feedback would be much appreciated in the comments below. Thanks again, and I'll see you on the next one.